Uh, I'm Ken Joshua. Um, I'm from the UK and I've been involved in international education now for 30 years. Um, and I've been involved in looking at education within India for the last uh, 40 years. I think the, um, the education that you're referring to there is global education. The world's getting smaller and it's important that we give students the skills and attitude to be able to cope uh, in the future with whatever is thrown at them. Right, it's the way that it's the way the curriculum is delivered is important. Uh, the teachers have to be equipped so they develop. Uh, a student um, to use the skills that he gains over his time as a student and also develops the attitudes so that when unusual circumstances happen after they've left school they're able to cope with it rather than being stuck um, and not know what to do because it's not in the book. international curriculum take-up is increasing in India. I think that uh, the, the news, if you like, of the, of the different approach is gaining momentum. I think if you're asking me anything, I think the, the traditional uh, type of syllabuses that exist are going, if they're going to survive, to change towards this global learning approach. Yes, I think uh, parents must worry that the education system seems to be changing and in some cases they don't understand why it's changing because they coped with it very well. When I first started teaching, there weren't any computers, there were no mobile phones. Um, and at my time of life now, uh, AI is coming in, and I certainly don't know how to cope with it. Although I've got skills that have developed, which I hope would enable me to do that. We've got to be able to give our children the skills and attitude to be able to change and cope with the changes that happen and if they start to learn how to cope with these things in school and not wait until they're 18 or 20 or get 10 years experience that must be a big big plus so I think that's that's the reason why we're going down that road I appreciate that not all parents or students necessarily want to study abroad and will want to stay here but if they're given uh, I said earlier the skills and the attitudes to be able to cope with whatever is thrown at them they will certainly be able to cope with a traditional um, Indian University scheme as opposed to going to the UK or, or um, USA and I think the universities will be changing the way they develop as well so who knows but at least our students will have the skills to be able to adapt I think Indian education is on the up I think it's taking the good things and applying them it's got a long way to go but I think you're well on the road to actually giving Indian students a good future.